Three of my favorite late summer desserts include cobblers, crisps, and crumbles. Yet I rarely make them at home. Seeking expert advice, I turn to Shelly Young, the owner of The Chopping Block, a cooking-focused store with locations in Lincoln Square and the Merchandise Mart. The fruit is beautiful and ripe. Who wants to really have the oven on in the kitchen for a long time? So I think that's one reason that they're really popular. They're also quick to make. They all start the same way, with fruit. Late August means peaches, and Young keeps the skin on. It adds a beautiful ruby color to the filling. She adds some flour, sugar, and a little cinnamon to the cut fruit, which we fold in to coat everything. Then the toppings. For a cobbler, it's just flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder in a bowl, along with heavy cream and a little melted butter. It's basically the same recipe that we use for biscuit. Okay. It's, a little, it's got a little bit more moisture in it, so it's a little looser. The dough is scooped out and placed onto the fruit. Baked for 30 to 40 minutes, it results in a thick top layer, perfect for soaking up all the juices. A crumble begins with flour, sugar, and lots of cold butter that is cut into small pieces. And I actually have cut it in little pieces, and I'm just kind of squishing it in my finger. Half and half or heavy cream is added, and the mixture is squeezed in a fist, then generously crumbled over the top. Baked for about 40 minutes, the top layer is sweet with just the right amount of texture. Her crisp has a bit more sugar than the other two desserts. There's equal amounts of, of sugar to the flour, so a lot more sugar than in a crumble, and more butter also than a crumble. The combination of brown and white sugar allows for a crispier topping. She spreads the mixture evenly over the top, not worrying about the size of the pieces. Then I get uh, those really big, yummy pieces that everybody fights over. After a half hour, the crisp is ready to serve. Young says flour and cornstarch don't thicken until they come to a boil. Best way to make sure they're done is... You just want to make sure the center is piping hot. Here's the dilemma. Now that you show me how to make all three of these, I've got a problem. Now you're going to do the crisp, I'll do crumble, we'll have the cobbler when the story's over. Okay, Shelley, Absolutely. thanks so much. In Lincoln Square, Steve Delinsky, ABC 7 News. Dig in.